I'm on a boat in Japan, and then the boat ends up here. Hey rock stars, it's Amara, and today we're tackling surprise bucket lists here on Amara in Seattle. Hit subscribe if you like the idea of tackling things that are on your bucket list. We do a lot of that here on Amara in Seattle. It's where lifestyle is an adventure, and this is an adventure I didn't even see coming. As a lot of you rock stars know, I recently was in Japan for a little while, and while I was there, I went to Hiroshima. On my trip to Hiroshima, I hung out with a friend of mine named Charlie, and Charlie decided to take me on this adventure. We end up taking a bunch of trains and like a bus, and we end up on a boat. I thought it was just gonna be like a nice trip on this boat in the water in Hiroshima which is lovely and it turned out to be something entirely different. There was a super big surprise for me here and it happens to have been a surprise that's always been on my bucket list. We encountered, well it kind of went like this. This is Charlie, my Hiroshima tour guide. So I'm here on the water and it is so beautiful and I just thought I would get a little bit of footage of thinking, yo dog, it's so beautiful out here. Suddenly this thing happened. I see it. Yeah, that's the great Tori. It's beautiful, it's historical, it sits in the water. It's used in almost every travel brochure you run into when you look at things about going to Japan. It is so incredibly iconic that it was something I had always envisioned as a bucket list, but had never actually written down as a bucket list. And I'm just gonna show you a postcard that has been sitting on my file cabinet, like taped to my file cabinet for a while. There it is. So behold my surprise when I'm on this beautiful boat checking out this harbor in Hiroshima and boom, there it is, the great Tori. Shut up. <laughs> so good. I was so excited. And you know what? I'll just let you see that story. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Amara. Oh, I just keep thinking this trip cannot get better. And then I get on a boat, which is fun because I'm on a boat in Japan and then the boat ends up here. So that's, you know, a lot. Anyway, uh, things that are on my bucket list have always included this since I wanna say like maybe the 2000s, early 2000s, something like that. Feels, all of them, I got them. show you things that are amazing in your life. Do it. As you guys can see, it was a huge surprise for me and super inspiring. Thank you to Charlie. Totally amazing and I'm super excited that I got to go. If anyone's ever surprised you with something and it was really wonderful, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. You can hit subscribe so you're part of the next adventure. We do all kinds of adventures here on Amara in Seattle. It is in fact where lifestyle is an adventure. If you like the idea of surprises that go really unexpectedly amazingly well, go ahead and like this video. You can also check out my two other YouTube channels. Amara Not in Seattle is my travel channel. It's where we get lost in travel. Recently, a lot of that was in Japan. Check out the playlist here. And we also have the vlogging channel. That one's called Amara in Seattle Vlogs. That's where everything is an adventure. I hope you rockstars are having a wonderful week and a wonderful start to spring and that it is full of inspiring, wonderful surprises, which is kind of what I hope this video was for you guys. You're still here? That must mean it's time for bonus content. Today I'm gonna share with you guys a little extra piece of what happened when I was on the island the Great Tory is on, and that is that there were more deer. I don't know if you guys know this about me, and if you want to know this about me, just scroll back a couple videos on this channel. I love creatures, and after finding out that I had had such a fun time with the deer in Nara, my friend Charlie also surprised me, basically informing me seconds before it happened that there were gonna be more deer. So here are some of them. There are more deer. And 
Your bonus second question is, if you won zillions of dollars and you could take a friend traveling, where would you go? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Rockstar's Best Adventures. It's Amara in Seattle. Top of the Space Needle, rain pouring down. Go do the things you love. Rain.